Pearson was one of about 20 children who have passed away from the flu this year. Doctors here at Children's say that they've seen hundreds of children already with the flu this year. They say most of the people that die from influenza were not vaccinated. It's still unclear whether Peyton was vaccinated. I'm telling you, a child is awful to lose. Linda Higgins knows the pain Peyton Pearson's family feels right now. She lost her son 10 years ago. Anytime you lose a child, it's really, really sad. It's, you just never get over it. So my heart truly goes out to those parents. She works at True Convenience down the street from Peyton's elementary school, Trinity South. Linda's niece goes there too. They're really sad. I mean, the kids, the kids don't understand. I mean, you're, you know, that child is there and Tomorrow's not there. When it comes to children in the flu, Dr. John Williams wants you to understand. Number one, it's very common. Number two, there's a spectrum, mild to death. And number three, the flu vaccine is safe and effective. The vaccine is not perfect. It's about 70% effective, but 70% is a lot better than zero effective. Williams says if your child feels worse than the average cold symptoms, contact a pediatrician. There's no reason for parents to panic. Uh, you know, if the child is uh, breathing fine, not having high fever, drinking fluids okay, you know, they're probably fine and most children are going to be fine. And William says that we're actually lucky this year. He says the flu came a little bit earlier and that it was a good match with the vaccine, which could explain why there have been fewer deaths this year. Reporting from Children's Hospital, Alyssa Raymond, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.